slightly less of a good morning, Devils fans, as we do receive our first regulation loss here in the 23-24 season in a 4-3 L to the Florida Panthers. So, like I said yesterday, this was not a trap game, but one that definitely could have aligned itself to being a fairly brutal start, and once again, it was even worse than the last two. Um, Florida has been high-flying this season with their forwards, absolutely drive offense uh, for them, uh, keeping it mostly out of their own zone, and that's what they did against us. Uh, that's where we've been struggling. Again, just a super slow start. Got absolutely hemmed in, gave up the first one, two, three, four goals this game, and this probably would have felt like a much more brutal loss uh, on the whole, if not for basically us finding our game a little bit there in the last half of the third. I mostly credit that to Florida kind of playing a bit more on their heels, just in the sense that they had a 4-0 lead. I uh, didn't need to press as much and play of their super heavy four-check game, and this kind of allowed us to find our rhythm a little bit better. Consistently, though, Jack Flying with Brat still looked fantastic for most of the game. It definitely wasn't as dominant as they have been, uh, but they did have a bunch of chances even earlier on in the game, and then especially there into the third. Uh, by the third period, uh, the problem child so far this year in Timo was benched. I believe he played one shift along with Marino and Lazar, also only getting a single shift in this game. Uh, well, not single shift in the game, single shift in the third period. So clearly Lindy, the coaching staff, are not very happy with their play. Now, Nico and Mercer uh, still seem to be trying to find their stride a bit. Nico had a bit of a better game, although it wasn't excellent by any means. Uh, and really, it was, again, really our top line and our fourth line, um, more of a hodgepodge fourth line, where it was uh, Halla, McLeod, and Holtz got thrown together, and they actually looked quite, quite good. Uh, Holtz, I think, continues to play very well. Uh, again, now he's not a world beater. He's not out here just taking over the game all on his own. But when you put him with guys that can uh, get the puck off ice a bit, I mean, he was setting up plays. He kind of whipped uh, what should have been a sure goal, uh, given his caliber of shot. But the rebound found its way to another Devils player, and we did get a goal off of it, giving him a, a point, which was uh, hopefully a bit more of a confidence boost for him. Again, I'm not expecting too much out of Holtz. I really want him to get a long runway. I'd like to see him get 20, 25 games straight here in the NHL, where I can really just see how he's developing, how the confidence comes along, and how he's progressing along in the system. Now, uh, with that said, uh, I'm going to move over to the, the three scratched guys. Uh, Lazar, meh. Uh, I, I didn't think it was awful, but... Uh, I, I didn't really see too much that was brutal for him. The Marino scratch was a bit of a head scratcher, as I thought Smith actually had his worst game. Now, previously, you know, he had the penalties, and it wasn't his best, but that first goal, I mean, he, he completely whiffed, um, just where did not have his feet moving, got completely beat around. It was a beautiful shot, backhander, uh, basically right under the bar and in, but... Still, uh, you know, if your positioning is better, you're not giving up that kind of goal. So, to me, after watching that, I really want to see Miller in this next game. I know Smith wasn't the one scratched somehow, some way, but still, I I think it's time for that. But knowing Lindy and how he's played it, I'm not too optimistic. Uh, we got a few days off here. We're going to get plenty of practices, so be able to see exactly what their thoughts are on how they want to mesh up these lines because clearly something is just not quite clicking for them. Now for the much bigger topic in Timo Meyer. I've seen some people going absolutely buck wild crazy and already throwing out trade talk about Timo. I mean, you, people got to slow down. He, as I've said, he started super slow last year as well in San Jose. And this is a completely new team for him, completely new system, something he's not used to and still trying to find exactly how he's not only going to work within this team and our a new system, but within the line that he's playing with, which he's already uh, had a couple different wingers uh, and Ian now, you know, found himself sitting on the bench for a period. So hopefully that did ignite a fire under him a bit. And through a couple more practices, talking it out with the coaches, actually uh, playing with hopefully a single line for a few practices in a row again, um, we could see what, what it comes with. I still want to see Timo Nico Holtz. That would be my preference. I just want to see it. He Timo is one of your top forwards. Uh, he should be with one of your top centers with Nico. 
I hope they don't go buck wild crazy and split up the TBH line. I think it is cooked in every game. It has looked good. And um, I don't think moving to Foley off of that is the play at all because from what I've seen, he hasn't been the play driver, obviously. He does not need to be the play driver on that line. And I'm just worried that you move him off of it. You're just kind of moving around the issue instead of trying to solve it the correct way with getting your guys that should be driving play, Nico Timo, actually doing that. And so that's kind of where I'm at after this game. Um, it really wasn't even the worst one. Uh, I feel like we actually had some shots going for us. We were mostly sticking with them. And it was just that brutal offensive uh, play there by Smith giving up the first goal. And then it kind of compiled from there. We're still running into these penalty issues. Uh, I, I try not to get too crazy about penalties, especially at the start of the season when refs are a lot more about just calling every little nuanced thing uh, that they can, just trying to set a tone for the season, and then that kind of settles in uh, after the first couple of weeks of the year. So I'm not going too crazy over the penalties just yet. We'll, we'll see where we're at again. I, I really like to give a nice 20-game runway before I'm really starting to rip apart anything. Uh, not that I'm really one to rip apart much, but yeah, I know teams, they do 10-game sample sizes, so... Uh, don't expect anything too drastic. Uh, they're really going to give these guys time to cook. It's We just got to stay in the mix here early on. Uh, we knew there was going to be a step back with losing Sivo and Graves. And in my opinion, while the forwards have not done their part at all, we are struggling to find that transition game out of the D zone with the new defensive setup. I mean, it's no surprise that Siegenthaler and Dougie, I think, are our only... Uh, defensemen that have been on the ice for five on five goals for uh, the other four guys, no matter how they've been mixed or matched together, have not been on the ice for those. Uh, by the end of the game yesterday, we did get a Luke Dougie pair. I don't expect that to stick for starting of the game. Instead, that does feel more of a we are down in goals. We just need the offensive guys out there. Put Luke and Dougie together. And I'm good with that. I, I'm completely good with uh, that setup at an end of the game if we are down. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. I don't think Luke's really been all that bad, especially for a rookie defenseman. I think offensively, he he cooks. He looks really strong. Uh, he looked very confident in the offensive zone, and he's still just finding that game there defensively, which should be expected. Um, I know people were kind of expecting him to come in and be a world beater. Doesn't quite always work out just like that. Uh, he is finding his way here with us, just as we are finding our way here with him, and it's going to be getting that acclimated uh, for him and the team, again, I think it's just a lot of disconnect between the whole five-man unit, no matter which five are out there, outside of Jack and Brat. Jack and Brat, those two on the ice, basically just do it all themselves. Otherwise, basically every combo of five um, has struggled in some way, with the caveat of McLeod's line. Mikey has looked really good. Uh, I thought he drove play, whether it was with Lazar Bastion, and then he looked really good with Halla and Holtz. So... Very interested to see where uh, they plan on going with that bottom six as really it does seem like Mikey and Holtz have been the most consistently good of the guys down there uh, with Halla as the shout out runner up there third. Mercer has struggled hard and that has been I think something the coaches were not really expecting. I don't think fans were super expecting uh, because he was supposed to be the guy we could toss in the top six middle or bottom six and it just worked out. And it has, it has not with him so far. So he avoided the sophomore slump. Uh, looks like we got a bit of a junior slump starting here for him. Uh, but we know what he's capable of. We know the workhorse that he is. He's going to work his way out of it. So eventually that is going to start clicking for him and everybody else. So again, not super worried. Uh, it hasn't been the best showings. And yet we still have only, we won a game that we probably shouldn't have. Lost in a shootout in a game we could have won, but again, probably shouldn't have. And now lost in a game we definitely should have lost. And if not for the refs, not calling the most blatant trip in the world on Mercer. How that's not called blows my mind. Uh, the most blatant trip. Yeah, we just had another power play. And yeah, it's the end of the game and we probably don't deserve to win that one. But it, it how do you not call that? It, it, it blows my mind, refs. Uh, inexcusable no call. You could probably go through that tape and find a call that we had against them that should have been called. Fine, call that too. But like, I was in your face. There was both refs were staring at that. I, I do not know how you swallow your whistles on that one. Other than to just say, hey, game management, you guys don't deserve this one. You just had one. Figure it out. Pull your goalie. It, embarrassing for the league, really. But 
hey, can't you can't force a call. It is what it is. Um, we should not have been down for nothing. Uh, it's kind of our own fault for having ourselves in that position. But still, shout out to the boys for at least making it interesting at the end, almost clawing us back into it, almost even earning a point we did not deserve. And so... What are you going to do? Goal differential is at zero, technically. Uh, shootouts, again, whatever. Uh, on the season, we're 1-1-1. One, one, and one. Three out of six points, meh. Not the best. Uh, we definitely need the boys to pick it up, but we got a few days off. This is going to this is gonna sting them for a few days, uh, really. Uh, over the weekend, we were hoping it was going to sting and they would come out strong, and they had the one of the, you know, we went down 4 nothing. Uh, it was terrible. So, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, regulations losses aren't the best, but we only had a few of them last year. Uh, hopefully not too, too many more this year. But again, we should expect more growing pains for this season. We're not going to have another franchise record setting season. Likely, you know, still possible, obviously, but be patient, everyone. Uh, it's going to work itself out. And if it doesn't, I'll be here to give you why you should still be optimistic about the team the entire way because uh, that's just who I am as a person and as a Devils fan. So, yeah, I'm uh, going to call it here on this one. I'm going to have more thoughts on this as we get through the week because we do got a few days off and I can't just talk practice lines for three days. So I'm going to dig into this game uh, and the players, uh, probably actually look at a bit of the analytics and stuff uh, for these next few days and really dig into what I think is going on, what can happen, uh, and what our next few games might look like. I thought the Panthers game was going to be rough. I didn't think it was going to be that rough. Uh, but yeah, I will uh, see you guys tomorrow morning. Oh, before I do the outro here, I closed up the curtains in the room. I just got the uh, light on here in the living room. I want to see how the video quality was with just this lighting uh, in here like this. Because it's another beautiful sunny day. So I do need to prepare for those overcasts. Just again, want to say uh, sorry for all the moving around on the video. Uh, just again, figuring out exactly how I want to do these going forward. So looking we'll for more feedback on that as well. So yeah, now that's going to do it. Uh, I'll see you all tomorrow morning as always and forever. No matter what. Let's go devil, baby.